We already have a video talking about the Google Ads Search Partner Network. You can check it out at the top of the screen right now, where essentially advertisers can go off of Google to expand the reach of their search campaigns. Well, similar to that, Google also has a video partner network. If you're running video campaigns, you can take those videos and show them to users off of Google platforms. Yes, YouTube is a Google platform. And again, to try to help expand your reach. So in this video, we wanna show you a few examples of where video partner ads could appear, and then also how to control these settings as best as possible within the certain campaign types available within Google Ads. Before we go into Google Ads and look at campaign settings for video campaigns, I first wanna show you where video ads can appear and a few partner network examples. Typically, I run to CNN because they are loaded with ads from a variety of different networks. And since I waited too long, this one was already done playing, but I scrolled down a little bit. Here is a video ad. I can click on it again. I will admit not every ad space on CNN is with Google. There's Critio, Taboola, but there was a short video ad here. And then it's going to start playing again. So I do know for sure that CNN is on the partner network because I see them in my placement reports for clients. We'll get to the placement report at the very end of the video. But here we clearly see the intent is different. A lot of people can go to YouTube to watch video content, to search for something specifically and watch it. Where on CNN, they're trying to catch up on news, not necessarily see your ad. So already we can see this is definitely more awareness focused or keeping your brand on top of mind. People aren't coming to CNN to watch your video ads. Let's look at another example. And yes, whether you like it or not, mobile apps are part of the video partner network too. In this case, we're playing a game. And to find I want to start off the game with an extra bonus, I have to watch an ad. And here we see, I can't skip it, I gotta watch it. This one is most likely an app download campaign, but there are other cases where it's more than just apps. I have seen other videos just on this one particularly, and ads can appear on a lot of other things besides just mobile games. Certain news sites make you watch video ads before you can read other articles. It could just be pop-ups. ESPN or Major League Baseball, you have to watch a video ad before you can actually see a highlight or something like that. So way more than just games, but that is just one option where video ads could show. And just like the CNN example, the user wasn't intending on watching your ad. It's another way to just expand your reach, build a brand, or stay on top of mind. So now let's actually go into Google Ads, see where the video partner settings lives in a few different campaign types, so you understand what the default settings are, so then you can decide if you want to leave them on or turn them off. Since we're talking about video partners, hopefully you're just keeping video campaigns in mind. And the timing of when I'm recording this video makes it a little bit funny because there's a big shift in a few different campaign objectives for video campaigns going right now in the first part of 2025. In October of 2024, Google announced that video action campaigns are being rolled into demand gen campaigns. We have a video about it if you wanna learn more, Check it out at the top of the screen. But video action campaigns are any video campaigns with the objective of sales, leads, or website traffic. This is important to know because if you currently have any video action campaigns running with these three objectives, the current campaign settings do not allow you to turn off video partners. So you would have to run your campaigns with video partners enabled, watch your report of where the ads were shown, and then continuously add exclusions. It really expanded upon the reach, and honestly, when they forced users to be on the video partner network, it helped with reach, yes. But quality, at least in my experience, really went down and so did conversions. Well, some better news if you really wanna leave video partners off in all of your video campaigns. Let me show you. Here's an example for a demand gen campaign setting. And you can see my campaign goal is conversions. So this would be one of the video action campaigns. But currently in beta, for video action campaigns. Scrolling down a little bit, we see video partners is now an optional setting. So if you did wanna recreate your video action campaigns into demand gen as early as possible to start learning, you can now turn this setting off. And in the few campaigns where we're running it right now for clients, especially the ones focused on conversions and leads, we're seeing slightly better performance because we're not showing up on a bunch of junk mobile ads. Like I said, the timing of this recording is a little weird because the transition is occurring right now. So every account is gonna be a little bit different, depends on if they've starting to transition their video action campaigns to demand gen right now, or they're waiting for Google to do it automatically for them. If you're gonna wait, I think there's a couple months remaining still for the transition to fully occur, Google will take your existing video partner preference setting when rolling it over to demand gen. And since I said that you couldn't turn off the partner network from video action campaigns for those three objectives, Google will leave this setting on 
when moving those campaigns over to demand gen. You will have to go back in and turn it off. But now you know in the demand gen campaign settings where it lives at the very bottom. But what about the other video campaign types? Since I've said a few times already in this video, the main benefit of the video partner network is to expand reach or build awareness. And that is one objective where you can launch video campaigns. Scrolling down and click continue. For this objective, I'm just gonna go straight to networks. And there we see video partners is an optional setting. So from that objective, you're not forced to be on it. This objective is not going to be rolled over to demand gen, so you can still turn this off. Let's look at another one, because that other option will be creating a campaign without a goals guidance. Select video again, choose your subtype, going over to networks again, just like the awareness objective, it's gonna be checked by default, but you do have the option when you're building your new campaign to uncheck it and start only on the YouTube and Google networks. What's my personal take on it? Even if you're using a specific audience like retargeting or a customer list, which you can use for video campaigns, I wanna start with the most specific setting as possible. So typically I turn off Google partners because when we're targeting the user and not the placement, we don't know where they're going to go. The user has free reign. So if I know I have a highly targeted user, I probably wanna hit them no matter where they're at. If they're reading the news, playing a game, watching sports, I'm focused on the user. And I've honestly never really had problems with volume by turning the video partners off. It's fairly easy to use the spend, no matter how big or small your budget is. But if reach really is the goal and you wanna to try to lower the frequency number, then that's maybe when I'd consider turning video partners on. And if I do leave it on, launch a campaign, have it running for a little bit, I'm gonna be much more cautious in reviewing my placement reports to see where these users are actually watching my video ad. Let me show you where to find this report. Okay, for this account, I'm in the overview section. I already have it filtered to video campaigns. So to find this report, click on the drop down for insights and reports. And then you wanna look at when and where ads showed. It's gonna to default to the devices tab, but then just move over to where ads showed. Now this is an old account. I'm looking at a wider date range. So select whatever date range you want, and then you will see exactly where your ads are shown. YouTube.com, of course, that's gonna be part of the YouTube and Google network. We're not looking for that. So if you want, you can create a filter and just remove YouTube.com. But moving down a little bit more, we see mobile apps, and then we see sites that aren't Google. There it is, CNN, told you. So then you can just go through, find all the apps or websites where your video ads appear, select which ones, exclude it from the ad group or the campaign. Now, if you find out that you're doing this a ton and based upon whatever columns and metrics are important to you, then you may have all the information and data that you need over time to realize that video partners may not be good for you. If that's the case, go back into your campaign settings, find the networks tab, and then turn off video partners. I do like with the new video demand gen campaigns that the setting is turned off by default. The only exception is that if you're importing a current video action campaign that has the setting on, then your new demand gen will also have it on. But that was your choice, not Google's fault. You just have to keep in mind with the other objectives for video campaigns, video partners will be set on by default. If you're fairly new into paid media and didn't know that, check out this report right now. Find out where all the wasted spend is to either exclude those specific placements or turn off video partners completely. If you have any other questions about video partners, feel free to ask the community in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.